All right, what if you were being asked to find the midpoint of line segment AB? Well, all you have to do is go to one of your endpoints. In my case, I'll just go to B. And I'm going to open up my compass until I get obviously past halfway. Okay, if I was estimating, I know it's around here. So I know that I'm going to open it past my halfway uh, point. So what you'll do is you'll put your needle in my case on B and I'll go below and make a mark and I'll go above and make a mark. Using the same opening on your compass you're gonna go to the other end point in this case A and I'll do the same thing notice that I have a point of intersection on the top and below so since I'm just looking for a midpoint I'm going to use my straight edge I'm gonna line up where it intersected and for me it looks like right here this is my midpoint and I'm just going to call it midpoint C and don't forget that a midpoint will break a line segment in half where AC is equal well congruent to CB what if you ask to find the midpoint and there's no space to go below well this is something you can do once again, I'm still going to open up my compass past my obvious halfway. Okay, so I'll do this. And instead of making a, uh, an arc below, I'm just going to do the top. Okay, and use the same on A. Now, what you can do is open it up some more so that you make a different arc. So for me, it would be here and here. Same rules still apply. You still just match up where your arcs intercept. You will mark off your line segment. And in this case, this is my midpoint and there. So that's another way you can find the midpoint. What if you've been asked to find a perpendicular bisector? Think about what that means. It, a bisector, okay, cut something in half. So we know that that midpoint is going to be important. So let's start finding that. You know how to find that. I'm going to go ahead and mark below. Let me close it a little bit. Yeah. I'll mark below. Mark above, same thing using the other end point, mark below, mark above. Now when we made the midpoint, we only cared about this right here. This time, by actually connecting my two intersections, I've made a line that is perpendicular and I show that by my symbols right so I made a line that's perpendicular and not only is it perpendicular it cut my line segment in half so it is a perpendicular bisector 